local wedding photographer's life is not picture perfect during the crisis, losing tens of thousands of dollars. But as CBS 13's Rachel Wolf tells us, she has an entrepreneurial spirit and is putting it to work. It's my favorite. Joy Jimenez is passionate about taking pictures and sharing people's special moments. It was, it was a blast. We were just really revving up wedding. for spring and April, and, and then this all happened. She's run her own business, a moment of joy photography, for the last 20 years. But when she lost 12 bookings and $20,000 in just a matter of weeks, she had to turn the focus on herself. I just felt like I, um, my, my business that I had been growing for all this time was just starting to fall apart right in front of my eyes, and I know that I had to feed my family. So this week she started working for Instacart, posting this selfie of her shopping for others at an area Safeway. It's not what she planned, but life isn't always black and white. She says she's struggling to get by on half the income she once made. To do the new job that I'm doing, I have to have my car, I have to have insurance, I have to pay my cell phone bill. It's a lot of she fun. says I some mean, brides have postponed, was, but for how long? You know, These might not just be people sure that are postponing because their venues are being closed. Was, was, These could be people that are being affected by their own income, like me. The how are they going to start? Pay, how are they going to pay for a wedding in September if they haven't worked for all the summer? This photographer wondering if the stay-at-home order and the financial struggles it has caused is a snapshot of the new normal for those who are self-employed and still applying for assistance. But are you unemployed? Are you employed? Are you you're, are you newly employed? How, how do you fill out that form? How do you answer that question?